Hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR, my YouTube channel. I've had a few people ask me about setting up HDSDR as a third receiver with the ICOM 7610. So that's what this little video is about. Okay, there is a PDF out there on the web, on the ICOM website. I'll put a link below. And uh, I went over and clicked uh, on this guide, the operating guide, and using HDSDR as a third receiver. And when I do that, it takes me here. And this first page is just a little bit about the operation. And then the second page tells you about setting up HDSDR. Now, if you haven't already, visit my website, www.k0pir.us. And I have an article about setting up HDSDR with the 7610, how to get that installed and set up. I also have an article on CW Skimmer and using it uh, narrow and then also using it wide. And then using it with N1MM Logger. So there's a, a few articles out there on, on this. But to set it up as a third receiver, it's really simple. And HDSDR, once you have it going... Uh, you want to click on the AXTIO, and the key here is independent tune in HDSDR. Up in main and sub, I have main set. I've got my attenuator on. Uh, just makes for nice listening. So the low or the local oscillator, that is the main on the ICOM 7610, and then the tune, that is HDSDR. And wherever I see a signal in here, I can click on it and listen. So let me unmute it. There's somebody there. And then to change frequency, I just click in the waterfall. There's the Saturn net. Here's somebody down here. And you'll notice that my 7610, the frequency doesn't change on the main or the sub. So I use my mouse to click to change frequency. I'm going to mute this. So that's one receiver. Let's go over and hit the main on the 7610. Unmute it. I've got it set in dual watch. So there's the Maritime Mobile Net on the main. <laughs> All right, I'm going to mute him and then go over to the third, or the, the sub. Anyway, I understand your short time. Thanks for checking in. That was Gino AL7. And that's another net. You can listen to them all at the same time. There you go. Three receivers. I always like that old Collins stuff there. But the Collins doesn't actually make any okay if we go back and take a look at the pdf file from icom we'll set it up the way that they have it in the second example where we're using the sub band and in hdsdr the xtio We've got this set to sub. We're still independent tune in HDSDR. So on the radio, if you look at the main, the main is on 40. The sub is on 20. And then look at HDSDR. You'll see the local oscillator. That's showing the sub. And then the tune, that is HDSDR. And we'll tune down here and turn it back up. But anyway, yeah, the... Uh... So you're listening to HDSDR right now. We'll mute it and go over and listen to the sub band. And oh, go listen to the sub band. Hello, Tango, India, Tango. 
the hotel. There's the sub. And then, of course, if we want to listen to 40 meters, we'll take a look at that. That's the main. Don't have anybody on there All right now. Let's see if we can find someone. There we go. And you can switch antennas. If I had a uh, 40 meter antenna hooked up, I'd switch over to the 40 meters. But like I said, I've just got the one antenna. All right, Dave, 73 to you. And, uh, have a, have... I could switch over to a second antenna, and then, of course, the, the sub would still be on antenna one. Oops. Go back and listen to them. So we've got three receivers listening on 40 and 20. All right, well, if you have any questions or comments, please make them below. I hope you find this informative and useful. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Also, tell your friends. 73 and good DX.